Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So, if you hear some grumbly rumblies, that is not my stomach. That is my washer because I'm trying to get some laundry done. I've been very terrible for the past week or so now because I got home like last Sunday and then after... I was done with work last Saturday. I ended up driving to my mom's house in Ohio. So I didn't get back till last night around 7 o'clock. And I didn't go to bed till like 11 because I absconded with some furniture that my mom was willing to part with. And I wanted to kind of organize some things. So that's kind of where I'm at right now is I should be organizing, but I'm sitting here and I'm just kind of staring off into space, mainly because I have to go back to Houston and I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to, but it's, it's looking like I have to. So the story with that is I didn't want to go back because there's reasons that I can't share. Basically, there's people that I don't like that I don't want to have to deal with ever again if I can possibly help it. But also, somebody got fired in my building and that's just going to beep. And I want to be able to help out. I feel like my needs, or my needs, I feel like my talents are better utilized in, you know, the building that I normally work in than they are down in Houston, but it is what it is, I guess. So if you guys don't see any more planner videos from me for the rest of 2019, that is why I will not be taking any of my planner stuff with me except for my travel, or not travel planner, my on-the-go planner is what I meant to say. And I've already shown that to you guys before. So, that being said, I apologize, but it's a resume builder. So, I guess I can't be too mad about that, but... You know, it's it's just, it's nice to be home with all your stuff. And especially since it's my favorite season, I want to be home. So I'm not exactly sure if I am leaving or not. I think I'm going to have to. But my boss has to talk to somebody in order to see, it's kind of like a last ditch effort to see if I can stay. And if that doesn't pan out, then I will be decorating for Christmas prematurely. Very prematurely because normally I don't decorate for Christmas until, let's see, last year I started like right after my birthday and I just put up my Christmas lights and then I just went ham after we got at, you know, after Thanksgiving. So I don't really know, kind of salty right now. But that being said, I don't know if I showed this to you guys. When I was there, I went to Paper Source. If you guys have never been into a Paper Source, you need to. That place is life-changing. I kind of feel like it was better for me to be in there a couple of years ago when I was into more stuff. Like I was into stamping and stuff like that. But it was still fun. It's very entertaining to be in there. And it makes my makes my bird brain very happy because I love colors. So I got these stencils. What are they? There's 12 stencil sheets with like 300 designs. I thought this would be perfect because I'm not always the biggest fan of using stickers and it's... A lot more cost effective. I did get rid of a lot of my stencils that I had in the past. Not that I had a lot to begin with, but I got rid of some and I just liked this because there were a lot more options. So 
that's what's up with that. Also, I have been struggling with my eating disorder. I think it was like a week or two before I left to come back home. I ended up binging and purging and it's really hard not just to go through that but also to watch yourself go through it is kind of like having at least to me it was like an out of body experience where I was like is this really happening so I was not happy about that and I think what really did that was because I was counting my calories so you're not supposed to count calories or macros if you have an eating disorder and I thought that I could handle it and apparently I was incorrect. So yeah, that's that's a thing. Another thing is my depression and anxiety have been really bad lately as well. I don't know if it's just because I've been out of my element or what have you or just feeling super underappreciated, but no bueno, no bueno. So I'm trying to really work through that kind of stuff. And one thing that I really wanted to mention to you guys is that I want to do like mental health checkups on here on my channel every once in a while. It's not going to be like super consistent because let's be honest, I am not consistent with anything except for probably scrubbing out my sink after I do dishes and doing laundry. But it's not going to be super consistent, but I want to give you guys those updates mainly because I want you to kind of understand me a little bit better. But for the most part, I want to do it because if you guys have any kind of a mental illness, I want you to feel 100% comfortable with talking about it. Even if you just talk about it to like one person, you know, that's that right there is like enough of a victory. So the hardest part is trying to get yourself to start talking about it. And I'll be honest, I don't talk about it with everybody. If I know that somebody has a, you know, mutual mental illness, I'll talk to them about it, but it's not the kind of thing that you just bring up in like regular conversation. So anyways, I just, I want you guys to benefit from it as much as I do because you get to kind of see a little bit more into the mindset that I have and the things that I struggle with. So I'm going to make more of a point to do that. But I'm feeling very out of place because I... <sighs> You guys, I'm looking at my financial planner, which I have in my Follow Facts original, and you guys, that is a joke. Oh, also, I have figured something else out, which don't ask me why it took me until now to figure this out, but I have found that the best way for me to track all of my expenses is to put them into Google Sheets on my phone. Why did I never do that before? I have no clue. Literally have no clue. I should have done that ages ago, but apparently I was stuck on the whole, oh no, write everything down, write everything down. Who has time to write all that crap down? Like it's so much easier to just throw it all in Google Sheets and then you can access it from your computer, from your phone, like whatever, bro. So that for me has been a godsend because I'm trying to pay off 
student loans, and, you know, it's important to see how much you spend on stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know. Give it a shot if you've never tried it. I think it's worthwhile. Even if all that you're tracking is, like, grocery totals, it's still totally worth it in my book. So, another thing that I've been doing is I have been crocheting like a mad woman. Like, people have been asking me, hey, how was Houston? And I was like, you know what? It was a lot of Bruce Springsteen and it was a lot of crocheting. And they give me this look like, what? I'm serious though. When I say it was a lot of Bruce Springsteen and it was a lot of crocheting. And <sighs> y'all really need to believe me on that. But first... The first thing I want to share with you guys, I got, so that piece of furniture that I mentioned that I got from my mom, I managed to drag this up the stairs. If you guys didn't know, I live on the second floor, so excuse the mess. I'm still in the process of trying to get everything put away, but this is what it looks like, and have like these really big four drawers can put some baskets in here so that's the thing and my arms still hurt from getting that thing up the stairs like let me tell you I feel like I'm dying right now as far as crocheting is concerned I have made a turkey turkey pot holder I just have to put some eyes on there. And then I also made a pot holder for Easter. So these are bunnies. Put like a little skinny bunny and then like a super fat one. And then there's just this one, which is, I think that's a lemon peel stitch that I did on that one. And I'm just going to put some hearts on there. And then this one is the falling leaf stitch and I'm going to put like a snowflake on there. So my whole idea was, I was like, you know what, why don't I just decorate using pot holders? Because then it's something I can use and it's also decor. So I'm quite excited about this and... I may have been on a yarn buying extravaganza for the past couple weeks, but that's what happens when fall roll when blah, 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 sorry when fall rolls around. So, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Got to see my baby cat Mochi when I was at home, and he seems to be doing pretty well. He was so precious. He ended up cuddling with me, and he slept in the same bed as me a couple of nights. So that was nice. I really, really needed that because I missed him a lot. But it sucks that I'm gonna have to go back because I was so excited to bring him home again. And he's just gonna have to stay there till January because I'm not gonna be able to get him until after Christmas. So it's quite depressing but you know it is what it is so I'm not sure if I mentioned this to you guys like ever but I have a serious obsession with cleaning products and I kind of went on a soap buying extravaganza if you guys couldn't already tell I have an obsessive personality so Mrs. Myers is like my all time favorite and I buy every single soap, every single dish soap. I even have the lotion, like the hand lotion and I buy every single one of the multi, multi purpose sprays. So I think that's what I'm going to ask Santa for this year is <laughs> just cleaning products because I can totally use them. But Anyways, I'm just trying to remain in good spirits. You know, like I said, going through a lot as far as my mental health is concerned. I will say one really good thing, though, is I have a friend, 
who she's not technically a friend from high school, but she kind of is. Like, she was friends with one of my friends, so I guess we had friends in common. And she and I never really talked, like, not, like, in depth. But then, you know, once we graduated and we were in college or whatever, went to separate colleges, we ended up becoming oddly supportive of each other. And I think that was because we found out that we have, you know, depression and anxiety in common. So I was talking to her a little bit and we're like legit friends now. Like I was like, boom, we're friends. And that's just how it began. I was talking to her a little bit cause I was really struggling with my eating disorder. And she asked me why I've never been to therapy for it. And I said, well, I haven't had the money to do that. And then that got me thinking, like, I've had the money to travel just un poquito and to buy all this friggin' yarn, but I have never had the money to go and prioritize my mental, emotional, and physical health. So I've already decided that next year, 2020, it's going to be my year, 2020, I will be seeing a therapist for this. I'm going to get my binge eating under control. I am going to, pardon my French, kick this thing in the ass and I'm going to overcome all of it because the one thing that people don't tell you about binge eating disorder or bulimia is that it's very expensive and you guys are probably looking at me like, what? It's expensive. You know, going out and buying everything that you crave on a whim, it adds up. So I'm, this is sad, but I'm more excited for what it's going to do for my finances than what it's going to do for my my health. I know that sounds horrible, but that's that's where I'm at right now. So I've decided that that's going to be a thing. I'm also going to get a dietitian and this is going to be a fresh start where I no longer rely on myself for trying to figure out my problems. I tried that with depression, didn't work. Tried that with anxiety, didn't work. And I think the reason why I've been hesitating for so long is because like a lot of other people, you know, you, you're comfortable with how things are and it's scary to think what you're going to be like after you're, I don't want to say cured, but after you've learned certain things in order to help yourself if that makes sense so we will see we will see but that is my game plan also I applied to a program and I'm trying to figure out this week if I have an interview for it because if I do and I get in that's gonna mean that I will end up moving next year probably June or July and y'all are gonna come with me on that wild ride too so yeah but that is everything that's going on right now I'm just trying to make peace with things trying to make peace with myself trying not to be so hard on myself you know give myself a little bit of grace and yeah. But anyways, I wanted to say thank you guys because you've all been so supportive and understanding and it really means a lot to me while I've been going through all these weird life changes. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye guys.